Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 1.12. Today's lesson is on grouping symbols. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to evaluate numerical expressions with parentheses, brackets, and braces. Although this is not a vocabulary word, and I will teach you more about it in the lesson, I do want to show you that parentheses, brackets, and braces have different shapes. We know that parentheses are round and they look like this. Brackets are square. And braces have a little dip in the middle. These are all different types of grouping symbols. Please pause to write the objective and the notes I drew in your notebook. Unlock the problem. Mary's weekly allowance is $8, and David's weekly allowance is $5. Every week, they each spend $2 on lunch. Write a numerical expression to show how many weeks it will take them to save enough money to buy a video game for $45. The blue box is going to give us some helpful hints. It says, underline Mary's weekly allowance and how much she spends. I'm going to do Mary in one color. Mary's weekly allowance is $8 and she spends $2. Circle David's weekly allowance and how much he spends. David's is five, I'm doing in a new color, and he also spends $2. So we know that we're going to have to use all those numbers as well as get to 45. Let's use our steps to get there. We're going to use parentheses, the round one, and brackets, the square ones, to solve this problem. It says you can use parentheses and brackets to group operations that go together. Operations in parentheses and brackets are performed first. Write an expression to show how much Mary and David save each week. So it says, how much money does Mary save each week? Well, think, she gets $8 and she spends $2. So that's going to be in our parentheses. And then David gets $5 and he spends $2. How much money do Mary and David save each week? So let's go ahead and solve these. Eight minus two gives me six, and five minus two gives me three. So if they each save together, they have six plus three. Step two, write an expression to represent how many weeks it will take Mary and David to save enough money for the video game. Well, they need to have 40 $5, and we're going to divide it by how much money they make. And we're actually going to use the numbers that we started off with in our parentheses to write our numerical expression. So you can see that we have some brackets here. I'm going to make them bigger. But we're going to write our parentheses. So inside here we have Mary's 8 minus 2 plus David's 5 minus two, and then we would take that number and divide by 45. We know that eight minus two gives us six, and five minus two gives us three, and six plus three is nine, so then we would divide 45 by nine, which gives us the number five. So it's going to take them five weeks to save enough money. Let's practice this again. John gets $6 for his weekly allowance and he spends four of it. His sister Tina gets $7 for her allowance and she spends three of it. Their mother's birthday is in four weeks. If they spend the same amount each week, how much money can they save together in that time so that they can buy her a present? They've already written all this out in a numerical expression for us. Let's look at it. We see four times brackets, parentheses, 
6 minus 4 plus parentheses 7 minus 3 parentheses brackets. So if we look up here, John gets $6. And this first part of our numerical expression is $6. So this is John. His sister, Tina, gets $7. And our second bracket has $7. So this is Tina. And then we're adding how much money they have and multiplying it by four weeks because they want to save their money for four weeks to see how much money they can buy on a present. So when we evaluate grouping symbols, we always start inside our parentheses. Then we can add those two parentheses parts together. So let's start with John. John says six minus four. Six minus four is two. And then Tina, seven minus three is four. And inside their brackets, it says we're going to perform what's in the brackets, that's adding. So 2 plus 4 is 6, and then we're going to multiply. 6 times 4 is 24. So at the end of four weeks, they will have $24 for their mother's gift. It's your turn now, fifth graders. Today's lesson activity is to solve this problem. Remember that we start with what's inside the parentheses first, then what's inside the brackets, and then what's outside. Use your order of operations to help you as well. Complete this problem in your math notebook and be prepared to show your teacher. Great job!